If you're a Navy Federal customer, you need to watch this video because there's some breaking news. Another Navy Federal customer has found money stolen from her account. Now, if you have seen what's been going on with Navy Federal, there's been a number of customers finding money missing out of their accounts. Woman thought she was doing the right thing by immediately reporting a $5,000 fraudulent charge to a credit union. They told her that they would look into it and then said it wasn't fraud and in fact she would be held responsible. Now with Navy Federal, they found out earlier this year that they had some employees actually stealing money from customer accounts and this was through multiple states. Now earlier this year, Navy Federal discovered that they had employees actually stealing money out of customers accounts. Now with this lady story, she's located in Arizona and she discovered that she was missing $5,000. And we're gonna jump into this information in this video. Now, if you're new to my channel, my channel is designed to help you no matter where you are in your credit journey. And we're showing you how to leverage your credit to make money. So if you like that kind of information, make sure you subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, and hit your notification bell so you can get notified anytime I upload a new video. And I just rolled out my business credit circle. This is for those who want to leave their nine to five, or if you want to start a business and you want to start building business credit. We have strategies to show you how to make money in the first 30 days of the program. And if you're a current business owner and you want to build your business credit and you're generating business revenue, you can get business loans and credit cards, even if you have bad credit. And I have my elite credit system, and this is designed for your personal credit scores to help you remove negative items with my AI software and credit coaching. Users like Sean was able to go from a 612 credit score with all his credit scores over a 770 in a matter of six months. And now his credit score is at an 803 credit score. And at my website, I give you a free heart inquiry removal package that you can download. And I have other packages for purchase. I have all these links in the description of the video and in the pink comment section. Now this story is coming out of Arizona where this customer discovered that she had $5,000 missing out of her account. But to her surprise, Navy Federal did not want to refund her on the charges. Well, imagine logging out of your bank account and discovering a fraudulent charge in the amount of $4,999. And even though the charge was still pending, she says she couldn't get her credit union to do anything about it. My mom had an account there and we had a really good experience. But that good experience turned sour recently when Cindy was checking her account and noticed a strange transaction for just under $5,000 that she did not recognize and the transaction was kind of fresh. It was pending, it was in progress. And so it was a huge amount and I had no idea what it was from. I didn't authorize it or anything. Now. This charge that this lady got is actually a charge that was pending. So she notified Navy Federal prior to the transaction being complete. So it's quite surprising that they've been so resistant in her situation. So I immediately got in the car and I drove to Navy Federal Credit Union branch in Goodyear. Cindy told credit union reps about the fraudulent $5,000 transaction, but she says because the transaction was still pending, employees told her there wasn't anything they could do unless the transaction actually went through. Well, it did, and Cindy immediately filed a fraud complaint with Navy Federal Credit Union. And 24 hours later, Cindy says she got news on the phone that she was not expecting. And that bad news was followed up by this letter from Navy Federal Credit Union saying, we have determined that no error has occurred and your claim has been denied. They went on to say, based on the facts surrounding the use of your account, we have found that you benefited from the transaction. I felt like they didn't try hard enough. I felt like they didn't even care about what was going on and what was happening. Like, they just didn't care. That's what it felt like. Now, this is quite surprising 
my experience with Navy Federal, especially at the branches, they are really friendly. So I'm surprised that um, the customer service wasn't able to assist her a little more in this situation. Cindy says she was frustrated and told Navy Federal Credit Union several times that she was contacting on your side for help, which she did. And according to Cindy, that was all she needed to say because just a few days later, the credit union reversed its decision and returned all $5,000 back to her account. The union never explained on your side why they initially declined this viewer's dispute or why they reversed their decision and went ahead and gave her money back to her. But regardless, she's happy and on your side certainly appreciates the credit union's quick resolution. Now take notice, once she threatened to go to the media, Navy Federal overturned that charge. So if you discover that you have money missing out of your account and they're resistant in this way, you may need to take the same steps that this woman took because Navy Federal already been rocked this year with these employees of theirs that have stolen money out of customers accounts now surprising that wasn't an isolated issue with their employees they actually stole from multiple uh, bank accounts in multiple states and here's that new story ben verrett lamar said little wednesday in court as he answered to 16 additional charges of financial crimes ranging from fraud to theft by conversion he now faces 31 counts with the investigation months from being over. After more than two months of investigating a case that started in North Carolina, Columbus police are now talking. A lot of the cases, he was an employee with the Navy Federal Credit Union, so he used his position at that bank and his ability to log in to people's accounts to manipulate those accounts and move money and deposit checks and withdraw funds. Police say the current charges reflect only two of at least eight bank accounts they are scrutinizing. It is a multi-agency, multi-jurisdictional investigation. The first victim was Jermaine Thurkild. He was shot to death in November 2023 off Flat Rock Road in Columbus. The second Now, the disturbing part that someone died and this actual employee was stealing money out of their account. This person apparently was unalive. So this is concerning in itself because is there a connection with the employee or some kind of conspirators actually unaliving people in this case? Second victim was Christopher Upshaw Jr. Here's what Edenfield says about Upshaw. Uh, he's been in Muskogee County Jail for nearly a year and was in jail prior to this fraud starting on his Navy Federal Bank account. Barrett actually used this individual to deposit the four checks. Um, he showed him how to deposit checks. He gave him the bank card. He told him which accounts to put them in, actually handed him the checks. Uh, so he used him as a, as a funnel uh, to deposit the checks. Now, right now, there's no evidence that the situation with the customer out in Arizona is connected to these cases. But of course, the cases that was in Columbus is still being investigated. So I will update you guys on this story if there's any new developments. So hopefully this information was helpful. If you have questions or comments, leave it in the comment section but if you have more detailed questions for me you can go directly to my website and all your questions go to my cell phone so i hope to see you guys in the next video stay tuned